first we click j first we click join now and we create an account uh we'll be creating a user account now you can add a user account so it's like the profile picture <clears throat> i can either select normal user or volunteer so we'll be selecting normal user for now i'll keep it as Jolano. uh can i enter an email id and just keep it short uh Password should be minimum six characters. Mobile number, location, you can put taxes. Account is either registered successfully, that means account is created. Um, now I, I'll create a volunteer account <laughs> now i'll create a volunteer account uh, add a profile picture volunteer say james k and it include the rate per hour but uh, like uh, six dollars email address share the rate of uh, g.com mm, this for random mobile number location uh, input uh, also random sign up Yeah, the user registered successfully uh so since currently there are no tasks assigned to the volunteer it will display no tasks assigned so if i sign out i can either uh, update the name over here so it's james i can put uh, king over here update it it will say that profile information updated successfully so after updating the name if i go back it will say good morning james king so then I will sign out and I will log in as a user. User was at the rate of uh, g.com. Okay, so since it is morning, it will give you a customized message. If it is afternoon, it will say good afternoon. And if it is evening, it will say good evening. Now I click on any, uh, so we can see the services over here. And there's an option for neighbor chat, view task view tasks i can see all the current tasks the current tasks are the tasks that a volunteer has accepted and is working on it if the volunteer completes a task it will display over here here i can see the events that is posted by the admin uh, the user can either like view the event view the like details of the event and if they want they can join the event after clicking join it will see that user joined the event successfully but uh we can even like send trigger a mail or sms but this information will be updated in the database you can join the event now for posting a task uh say i want to post a groceries task i'll say enter items uh, i'll say potatoes and rice additional requests none enter address here i'll say the like event look for when i click look for volunteers it will uh, patch the nearby volunteers so currently since there's only one volunteer it is showing only one name if there are two volunteers or three volunteers it will show all the names over here so i'll see select volunteer 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 selected successfully Let me uh, go ahead and create, I'll create one more volunteer. Mm, his name will be, uh, mm, let's say, uh, Louis uh, P. Okay. His rate is $8 per hour, email is at the rate of g.com password you know i can view the password also to just confirm it mobile number any random mobile number uh 
location whatever let's see that sign up is it registered successfully good morning louis p no currently assigned tasks so i will log in as uh, the user i will log in as the other user sorry i am logging as a volunteer incorrect email or password oh. okay so if the user enters an incorrect email or password it will show incorrect email or password of your and uh, in the option if the user wants to reset a password they can uh, go to forgot password and reset it over here so it is g.com 23456 okay so uh, the volunteer will be able to see uh, the currently uh, like posted tasks since this user has posted a task and selected this volunteer they uh, volunteer, uh, the volunteer can see the details of the task over here like the type of task time the location of the user and the date they can go to view task and they have the option of either confirming the task or forfeiting the task so here they will be able to see the task description additional requests and things so say the user confirms the task after user confirms a task they will have the option of chatting with the uh, user i mean after the volunteer confirms a task they can chat with the user and after if i log in to the user or other you know, g.com okay so the user can click over here and see the notifications sent by the like the user will get all the updates when the volunteer confirms a task will get an update as task or status update confirmed when the volunteer uh see when the task is posted and it's pending it will say task status update pending when the user completes a task it will say task status update confirmed as well as when the user when the volunteer posts an invoice it will say that new invoice so now let's try creating two normal users so the first user name is peter so now i will uh, demonstrate the, the scenario when the password and confirm password are not the same so in new password i will be adding 123456 and confirm password I'll be adding one two three four five five. Add a random mobile number, uh, and the user clicks sign up. So it will show an error saying passwords do not match. We'll correct it, and then sign up. The user user registers user registers successfully. So uh, I will create one more user. So now let's go ahead and create one more normal user. Mm, this name will be uh, just say uh, Gary G G at the user it's it's successfully now i'll try log in to uh, okay now i'll go ahead and i'll log in to my uh, to the volunteers now i logged in to the volunteer account i can see the task that is posted by the elderly user if i view the task uh, i e either have the option of chatting with the user or completing the task so 
currently while working on the task i can click on the symbol and i can send uh, messages to the user like hey i'm on my way <clears throat> so if i go back to the user account which is r at the rate of g.com <clears throat> I can uh, go to a uh, current task. So the current task is the on ongoing task where the task status is pending. And I can chat with the user, with the volunteer, and I can see the messages sent by the volunteer. I can also say, hey, okay. <clears throat> so I can either chat with the volunteer. Hey, you go completed tasks. Currently, it will say no completed tasks because there are no tasks which are completed yet there's only one task that's posted by the volunteer and it's ongoing <clears throat> if i go to neighbor chat i can see the list of neighbors currently so i can add so when i click add the status will change as friend and then the user will be able to chat with the neighbor only when both of them are friends if he clicks like remove he won't be able to chat with the neighbor so i can click on any neighbor can click chat and I can send them a message. Hey, how are you? So the functionality will work the same way, uh, same way as uh, the user and volunteer works. If I log in to the Peter's account, Peter will be able to see this chat messages and chat with the user. <clears throat> so, uh. If I go to the notifications, it will say the task status is confirmed. If I go back to the volunteer account, oh, that's actually. See the, okay, so I got the message you're sent by the user now i can go ahead and see i have completed the task i can go and click on complete task so it will load and the status will change to task completed then the user can go ahead and create an invoice create invoice so on the invoice page the user will, will be presented with all the details the task details the volunteer details <clears throat> like what is my name my rate per hour as well as the task details like the client name dates service type once the user clicks hours work, say the user has worked for two hours, <clears throat> the expenses will show you, which is rate per hour into the hours work, which is $12. So user can preview the invoice and if there are any changes, they can add it. Preview and submit. Once the user clicks submit, the invoice is submitted. And... Uh, yeah, so if uh, we go back to the user account, see that is r is equal to g dot com, <clears throat> and the user goes to the notifications. He will get a notification saying that you have a new inverse. Go to completed tasks to check. Now completed tasks can be found over here. So the uh, current tasks are showing as no current tasks before it was showing as one because now the task that was there it's completed if the user goes to completed tasks you can see the task details like yeah so once the user clicks on completed tasks it will be uh presented with the task uh, details like the task uh, name the task type the date and the volunteer name then they can go ahead and click on view invoice it will be uh, presented with the invoice, say the volunteer name, the task name, hours worked, rate per hour, and the total number of expenses that the uh, that has to be paid to the volunteer. Then the user can go ahead and pay. And after the user clicks pay, he will be taken to the payment portal like PayPal or whatever. PayPal or he'll be able to pay with the credit card, debit card, and any other any other options as well. Um. Now, uh, say for example, I want to log in to Peter's account, uh, keithpeter.com.
and I want to post another task which is okay first let me go and check the messages sent by Rolano hey how are you hey man I'm good okay this message will be sent to him <clears throat> and uh, I want to create another task say a repair task a repair description your uh, sync uh, it is uh, blocked so enter the address here whatever uh, Denton look for volunteers it will find uh, the nearby volunteers which are located within the area <coughs> like within uh, can set the distance based on the 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 preference and based on the user the client uh, requirements see like we can set it to five miles or ten miles so it will show the volunteers which are at that radius see you now two volunteers are available so this volunteers uh, are available if the volunteer was busy he would not be shown here so, since both these volunteers have complete completed their task or they have not uh, got any task they will be shown here so the user can select any volunteer see I'm selecting Lewis so volunteer selected successfully and uh, no new notifications yeah so if I go to Lewis's account hope the address is correct so. Okay, so <clears throat> this is uh, Lewis's account. It uh, says "Good morning, Lewis P." And this is a task that is posted by uh, Peter. So repair task, new task. Uh, so the uh, the volunteer has uh, the options of confirming the task and forfeiting the task. If it says forfeit the task, and then I go to Lewis's account. So, sorry, I go to Peter's account. And I go to the notifications, it will see that the task status update declined. Yeah, so that's about it. And those are all the features of our app. So we have cleaning, we have cooking, transport, and if needed, we can add more services as well. And if I want to update this to Parker, I can do that as well. Profile information updated successfully. I can even change the picture. See, I want this picture. Profile updated. Peter Parker. And the profile picture is updated as well. Thank you.